Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> Kyler Murray, Josh Allen, and Malik Willis. Yes, the Atlanta native and Liberty University standout has been drawing a lot of comparisons to this new guard of NFL quarterbacks. And that's why he's considered one of the top quarterback prospects in this year's NFL draft. The Falcons will surely have an eye on Willis. And as Kelly Price explains, Willis has had their, his eyes on them for a long time, too. Malik Willis has really taken the road less traveled each time there's been a fork in the road ahead of him. In high school, he transferred to Roswell from Westlake, and then in college, he transferred again to Liberty from Auburn. But his family are firm believers in everything working out how it's supposed to, and it seems like it's going that way as he continues preps for the NFL draft. It's been a blessing for the simple fact that if he hadn't gone through what he's gone through, he wouldn't be who he is, you know. And the adversity that he faced, it kind of shaped and molded the character that he has now. I didn't have an option. There wasn't a lot of big schools calling my phone, so I mean, I went with what I had. I mean, I was definitely appreciative of another opportunity. We got to play some Power Five schools that stood out to me. And like I said, Coach Freeze being who he was and coaching in the SEC, I knew he could help me get better. Transferring to Liberty in 2019, Willis wasn't granted immediate eligibility, so he worked on himself. He applied that year he set out to himself, Malik. Now, of course, he was working, but like, who am I? What, what's, who's the man I'm going to be? And that's what we see now. So I had to leave without being able to play on Saturdays, and I had to grow in the film room and uh, just be taught how to be a better player. That paid off in 2020 when Willis threw for 20 touchdowns and more than 2,000 yards, rushing for 944 yards and 14 touchdowns, and led the Flames to a 10-1 record in its first ever top 25 ranking. 2021 was kind of a different story. Willis threw for over 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns, no picks, and rushed for 418 yards and six touchdowns in Liberty's first five games. But over the final eight contests, he threw 12 picks, including three three interception games. Don't get it twisted, he is a top quarterback quarterback prospect, but there are lots of takes out there on his NFL worth, but he says it's not hard to cancel out that noise. I mean, not really. They just said I was trash like a couple years ago, so I mean, it is what it is. I mean, they said I was like 123rd out of 138 starting FBS quarterbacks two years ago, so they can say what they want to. They can't really, you know, get up under my skin too much. Willis said he talked to all 32 teams at the Senior Bowl, but his hometown Falcons stood out. It was cool. It was definitely, you know, kind of crazy feeling, you know, going from you know, a little kid just out of the tailgate to they talking to me like for me, you know, it was crazy. I mean, we used to go uh, cook out and stuff in front of with tailgate in front of the uh, old Georgia Dome. It's just what he's been striving for since he was four years old. And I want to play one day on Northside Drive. That was his thing. So. Hopefully, you'll be able to play on North Side Drive. <laughs> Some of Willis's favorite football memories were right around here, watching legends like Roddy White, Mike Vick, and Matt Ryan, who Willis said is one of his favorite quarterbacks to this day to watch and learn from. He also told me it would be the makings of a movie if he was to play here on North Side Drive in red and black after all these years. At Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Kelly Price, Fox 5 Sports.